Welcome back to a new challenge, this time trying to harvest some batteries from this 2010 IMEV. Underneath, we've managed to get the plastic trays off. And structurally, the car is quite sound and quite clean, but it doesn't start and it doesn't run or drive. These longer bolts have mostly come from the outsides of these under trays. Whereas the right hand, much shorter bolts, are used in the middle areas, such as these holes right in the middle of these plastic removable trays. Had to be a bit careful to remove this and then the associated bolt here, preferably before you remove all the outside ones. Similarly, there's a plastic cover and a bolt under this on the back of the front plastic cover. Both of these need removing before the covers will come off. Decided to take the seat out for easier access. You need to take the seat out to access the battery isolation. With the two nuts removed, the lid over the isolation switch can be removed. And then this is the switch that will isolate the battery pack. You pull this handle at the end here, up. And then if you keep pulling it, it will allow the unit to come unplugged. That's now removed and the battery pack is now disconnected from the car. I've just pushed the rubber seal inside the lip so that when the battery pack drops out, it's not attached to the car at the top. At the front end of the battery pack, there are some connectors here and some connectors here that need disconnecting. And whilst they're attached to the car at this end, they're also still attached to the car at this point here. So I need to make sure these are loose so that this end of the battery pack is free. To remove these, you need to pull this white clip back and then push reasonably hard whilst you pull the outer part out. It's a two-handed job. And if you squeeze that, and pull the unit free, this cable here will then become separate to the car. So this lead is now free from the car and only attached to the battery pack, and this lead is only attached to the car. I think that's the front end pretty much sorted. Coming to the back near side corner of the battery pack, there is this little gray connector, which again, will just pull out by pressing. If you press this bit here, it will just come out and force that out. It's connected to the car up here, and this bit seems to be connected to the battery pack and go up into the top of the cell unit. And then we have, I assume, the main traction control power units. So the three orange cables need to be removed, plus this cable here, which is the earth lead. So the earth is connected to the ground of the body shell up here. I shall disconnect it here and leave the earth connected to the main battery pack. And then there's a plate underneath I need to access to remove the two motor cables. So I'm using my new insulated uh, socket type screwdrivers to remove these power leads. So there's one. I have already loosened these up a little because they were quite tight and that's now those two power cables removed plus I've removed the uh, little hold downs in there so in theory if I pull those out they should just come out well they certainly are loose I possibly need to undo these clamps to get them out. So I found if you put a screwdriver underneath and lift this tab out, the whole unit will then slide off the clip and leave that clip on the wire. That will then allow you to pull out the main cable. So we then have the two power cables, which I shall label up front and rear so that I don't get them mixed up. For reference, the one with the white band goes in the hole nearest the front of the car. The one that's unmarked goes in the rear 
They are also very slightly different lengths. On the near side of the car, there's quite a collection. There's two more big orange cables, which you need to release the uh, clamps with slightly longer screws than the other side, because they're slightly thicker metal casings. And then inside, again, using my nice new uh, socket screwdriver, you can remove the connection nice and safely with, again, uh, the same size screw. Same with the other one. So you can see these are the bolts that are used for the connection directly to the motor and the batteries. These are the connectors that, that are used to connect the cables on the outside there for the near side of the car. There's also a host of plastic connectors here. There's uh, one, two, three, four of them that all need disconnecting as they're all attached to the chassis of the car. The connector nearest the orange cable, you've got to push this tag quite hard and then the unit will slide off and that will free up that first cable. I've also taken the entire bracket that holds these little cables off with a little set screw at this end and a little set screw buried inside the joint at this end. And that allows you a little bit more flexibility and also allows you to remove um, some of the uh, marks that you can, can't get to if you leave it in place. So I had temporarily unscrewed this one and there's a screw in here somewhere at this end in order to be able to get the various different uh, socket clips connectors off here this particular connector here actually needs removing from the uh, connector here because this is on the battery pack and this bits attached to the car but this one actually bolts to the power cable um, here okay so this is part of the power cable so you can connect those back up but the rest are individual they're all different so you don't need to label them there's a gray funny shaped one there's a round gray one and there's a little black one at the end coming back to the driver's side there is a third uh, orange connector here which you don't need to i don't think you need to disconnect from the power here because it goes up the side of the battery pack and clipped to the top of the battery pack reappears at the front corner and then comes down to these two connectors at the very front of the car which we disconnected first of all so i think that's now the battery pack fully disconnected certainly from the sides all the way around so this is the plan having raised the rear of the car up i plan to get the wheels to sit on my wheels free bars Having got both ends of the car jacked up individually and over the wheels free bars. With the car obviously with the handbrake on and in neutral so that it can't move. We can now lift the car on the wheels free bar which will allow us to use the ramp to drop the battery out. Now with the car on the wheels free, I can now start to get the battery pack out. So the last battery pack bolt has come out the side and you can see the battery pack has dropped only about uh, 30 mil, inch and a half. It's dropped onto these beams which are on the ramp section while the car is on the wheels free. One little bolt which caught me out was this 13 millimeter bolt here. Right behind the rear suspension, there is this little 13mm bolt, which bolts into the back end of the suspension. Unfortunately, there's also this tab on the bottom of the suspension, which is going to catch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the car backwards about 40mm, so that this tab here, where my finger is, is cleared by the back of the battery pack. And then I can lower the battery pack out a little further.
So with the battery pack out, I've decided I need to take the lid off to see what's inside. So I've started by disconnecting the power cable from these clips which seem to hold the top down so that it's completely disassembled from the top. Next I've taken the earth lead off, first bolt to shear by the way. I've also got some earth leads here which have come undone so they're all clear and I've got one more to do at the back. I've been around virtually the entire pack taking all the bolts out around the lid. <coughs> So there's the last one. So now we can start thinking about actually taking the top off the battery pack. So having taken all the bolts out around the midpoint here, I've also taken out the four bolts that seem to hold around the top here. The top cap will actually come off. So here we have the IMEV battery pack without the lid on. So this is where the fun really begins.